It's always busy at this medical centre in Manchester in the northwest of England. So the next available appointment is not for two weeks' time. It's the first port of call for many in the local community. And we've been given unique access to the challenges faced by both staff and patients. I'm fine, how are you? Oh, thank you. Like Maria, who's asked us to use her nickname. She's been referred for specialist treatment by doctors here, but had to endure an uphill battle to get it. I've been waiting for one year. So um, they found I have a polyp and uh, they said, we're going to refer you. And then I was waiting for one year. And then I had complications like bleeding and problems. I ring every day, I'm upset, I cry, I say I need to be seen as soon as possible. She is just one of more than 7 million people in the UK waiting for a hospital appointment or further medical treatment. That bulging waiting list, now a key battleground in the upcoming UK election. This is one of the busiest doctor's offices in the region, serving nearly 20,000 people. Places like these are the front line of UK's health system. But they say they're struggling, having to see more people than ever since the pandemic and without the level of funding that they need. I'm sorry, I don't have anything later that day. That demand is evident as the calls keep flooding in. It's just chaotic. We have over to 200 to 250 calls between 8 and 9. I mean, we've got 20,000 patients here. So as you can imagine, we can imagine all in, in just one morning. So patients complaining they don't have an appointment. Doctors here warn that there's been a real terms decline in funding for general medical practice. And coupled with a burnt out workforce, it all spells trouble for the future of the National Health Service or the NHS. If we're having to deliver services for patients, a larger volume of patients, more complex patients, with a limited resource, it's, it's very difficult. And we need to remember that G, uh, general practice is the cornerstone of the NHS. Now, if we fail, the whole of the NHS fails. We're in a very, very precarious position now uh, in general practice, and I don't say that lightly. A stark warning for whoever is next in charge of the nation's health. Milena Veselinovic, Al Jazeera, Manchester, UK. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.